Imagine you have a spreadsheet with 500 plus rows of data. It's hard, if not impossible, to see patterns and trends in the data. Even with similar spreadsheets, it can be difficult to spot patterns with row after row of data. An Excel feature called conditional formatting can help with this. With conditional formatting, you can apply formatting to one or more cells based on the value of the cell. You can highlight interesting or unusual cell values and visualize the data using formatting such as data bars. Let's take a look at how we can use conditional formatting in our company sales spreadsheet. First, select an area that you'd like to highlight. Our order amounts are really what we would probably want to apply conditional formatting to. On the Home tab, locate the Styles group. Click the Conditional Formatting command and a menu will appear with your formatting options. Let's take a look at how a few of these work. The first one, highlight cell rules such as greater than and less than. Let's choose less than and apply formatting to sales with values less than $200. After entering the value, we can use the drop down menu to choose the color and type of formatting for Excel to apply, and then click OK. Now in the spreadsheet, the sales with values less than $200 appear highlighted. This allows us to easily identify the low orders. To remove these formatting rules, we'll just click the conditional formatting command and select Clear Rules. Since my cells aren't selected right now, I'll just choose Clear Rules from Entire Worksheet. And there you go, the formatting is removed. Let's take a look at some of the other conditional formatting options. Besides locating cells that are greater than or less than a value, you can also apply formatting to cells that are between two values equal to a value, or if we had selected the entire worksheet, we could apply formatting to cells with a specific date or month listed. You can apply conditional formatting to cells that are the top or bottom 10% in value or above and below average. Let's select above average select the color of formatting we want, click OK, and now those values that are above average are highlighted so we can easily see. Now let's clear the formatting on these selected cells. Let me show you one other option that's really one of my favorites. We'll select our order amounts again and take a look at a conditional formatting option called data bars. We'll select a color, and now these values are formatted with the data bars. This allows us to easily see which values are greatest. Cells with smaller values appear with less of the data bar, while cells with greater values appear with more of the data bar. The real powerful parts of conditional formatting is the ability to apply multiple rules or formatting to cells. Right now we have data bars applied to the cells that show us which cells have the largest values. Now, what if I also want to mark the ones that are below average or equal to a certain amount? Now you can see that we have our formatting for the data bars and for the below average cells. Before we finish talking about conditional formatting, let me show you how you can have more control over these formatting rules. If you click the conditional formatting command, you'll see Manage Rules at the bottom of the menu. Select this, and the dialog box will appear. From here, you can change how your selected formatting rules are applied. You can select a rule and move it up or down which will make it so Excel performs this formatting rule in a different order. You can edit a rule, or even delete a rule. We'll just click OK, and now you can see that the formatting to the below average cells has been deleted. 
While this spreadsheet only has 40 rows, imagine you are working with a spreadsheet with hundreds of rows. Data bars and the other conditional formatting options make it very easy to see data in meaningful ways.